Hello students, hope you are all doing well. Uh, we are uh, doing the chapter fractions. Now the topic that we are doing today is going to be com comparing fractions. Comparing fractions is just finding out which fraction is greater and which one is a smaller one. Since uh, when we are just doing simple numbers, it's very easier for every one of us to just sort out the bigger and the smaller number. Or maybe you can talk about numbers that are equal. But when you're talking about fractions, it's a bit difficult to understand as to which fraction is greater and which one is a smaller one. So I'll be sharing a few tricks with you to make you understand how to sort out the greater fraction and the smaller fraction. So let's move ahead with the first question. This question is asking which fraction is greater? Now since the two denominators are same, so it is easier for us to find out the bigger number. The bigger number in these two fraction is 8 5 and 8 which one do you think is greater 8 so 8 upon 7 is a greater fraction moving ahead with which fraction is smaller again we have like denominators so since they have asked us to find out which fraction is smaller we have to compare 7 and 5. Of course, 5 is smaller. So 5 upon 9 is smaller fraction. Now, the examples that I have just shared with you with like denominators were pretty easy. All right, it was quite easier for you to sort them out. But when you are moving on to a question where you will be asked to find out the greater fraction, having different denominators yes over here we have a question 5 upon 8 is greater or 3 upon 4 is greater we will cross multiply the two fractions now cross multiplying is very simple children 4 5s are 20 and 8 3s are 24 since we have 24 to be greater than 20. It means 3 upon 4 is a greater fraction. Moving ahead with another example for you. Which fraction is greater? Now again we have two different denominators. 6 and 8. Again what do we do? We will cross multiply the fractions. All right. So, when you multiply uh, it uh, diagonally, you will get or you will multiply cross away. Are you going to just do your multiplication uh, diagonally? You will get 8 fives are 40 and 6 sevens are 42. So, which would figure do you think, which fraction do you think is greater? Yeah, you can easily sort out the answer. 7 upon 8 is a greater fraction. Alright children. Now moving on to the smaller fraction. If in case you are asked about how to find out smaller fraction. You have two fractions given in here. 3 upon 4 and 2 upon 3. Which one do you think is smaller? Again we are going to do just the cross multiplication and we get 3 3's are 9 and 4 2's are 8. Since 8 is a smaller number, so our answer for this question may, will be 2 upon 3. 2 upon 3 is a smaller fraction. There's one more example which I would like to share with you people. Uh, 5 upon 7 or 7 upon 10. Again, we have two different denominators. What will we do here? We will multiply uh, the two uh, 
figures 7 into 7 is giving us 49 and 10 times 5 is giving us 50 all right we always cross multiply to get the answer now which two, one do you think is smaller here 49 is smaller right so 7 upon 10 is a smaller fraction i hope you will uh, you have all understood the work that i shared with you and uh, I'll be giving you some more questions here and I'll be sharing answers in the end. So I hope you have understood the chapter. I have you must have understood the the topic that we are doing right now. So uh, see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye for now.